Thank you for attending the Best of Censors Awards for 2018. It was another sterling year of innovations from the field, again making the task choosing the winners extremely difficult, but I'm glad. Hopefully that will never change. One thing I'd like you to do, we have something a little bit different we're going to do at the end of the awards today. I want to introduce you to a fine young gentleman who has some very interesting technology that he would like to speak to you about. But that will be at the end. Right now we'll get to the matter at hand. One of the fastest growing markets by far is wearable sensors. And two of the prime considerations for wearable products are accuracy and price. Proving that low cost need not sacrifice accuracy, the Motion Pro has emerged as the market's first affordable sensor-based full-body motion capture system. To kinetic reality goes the Bronze Award for Application Innovation. I guess they were overwhelmed with excitement and just couldn't make it up here. Okay. When it comes to medical applications, cost is a concern. However, accuracy, reliability, and safety are the greatest concerns. Developing health, fitness, and medical devices is a daunting task, if for no more than just meeting all of the regulations and restrictions. One product that is proving viable in this department, the Max Health Band Evaluation and Development Platform, is also a heart rate and activity monitor featuring an optimized optical pulse oximeter heart rate sensor, a wearable power management solution, and motion compensated algorithms. It packs a wealth of other innovative features, including motion compensated algorithms to extract useful data for health and fitness applications based on a word I cannot pronounce, but I'll give you the acronym, it's PPG Signals. The silver award for innovation goes to Maxim Integrated Products for the Max Health Band. Okay, along with accuracy, safety, reliability, I'll and cost, from power now. consumption is another critical concern in the design of medical wearables. Groomed to provide users with more detailed calculations such as blood pressure, stress, and vascular age, Rome's next generation optical PPG sensors utilize a new optical filter design and deliver higher bandwidth output and data frequency while reducing <laughs> overall power consumption. This results in cleaner waveforms, and the gold award for sensors goes to Rome Semiconductor. Of course, there were no shortages of applications of note. In fact, all show both noble and exemplary efforts on the part of engineers and designers. Another design factor we can't overlook is heat, the enemy of electronics and people who love the cold. Keeping an eye on temperature in embedded space 
Accident's 3240 sensor enables a robust and cost-effective way to monitor the temperature of server cabinets in a continuous manner, and therefore they get the most honorable mention. Axon. <laughs> Next we get to the Innovation, Sensors Innovation Awards. Autonomous vehicles are a hot ticket but have some ways to go in terms of being completely safe. One of the major technologies promising to keep those self-driving vehicles moving is LiDAR. And one company has been in the forefront of LiDAR development and innovation. The culmination of 10 years of LiDAR development, the VLS-128 LiDAR sensor provides 3D, 360 degree vision for autonomous cars. It is also the company's most powerful LiDAR sensor to date. Taking the Bronze Innovation Award is Velodyne's VLS-128 LiDAR sensor. When it comes down to it, sensors are components found in just about every electronic device. Downright commonplace, if you will. However, beyond just being essential components, sometimes a sensor solution comes along that can inspire designers to do novel things. Such is the case with a certain 18-channel multispectral sensor array that promises to open doors to a wide range of unique spectral sensing applications. The cost-effective device integrates three chips to create an 18-channel sensing array covering wavelengths from 410 nanometers to 940 nanometers. Taking the silver award is the ASX, uh, no, I'm sorry, the AS7265 X series sensors from AMS. have to wait for AMS to show up. We know they're here, but once again, I think they were just so overwhelmed. Yeah, it's rough winning an award every year. So. When it comes to proximity sensors, there's often unwanted room for error. Some proximity sensors use simple infrared technology which can only measure signal strength and can be affected by the target's reflectivity. Time of flight sensors, on the other hand, directly measure the distance to an object based on the time for emitted photons to be reflected, enabling accurate distant ranging regardless of the target surface characteristics. Measurement speed is also a critical factor. In response, the VL53L1X debuted as the fastest miniature time of flight sensor on the market with accurate ranging up to 4 meters and a ranging frequency up to 50 hertz. ST Micro is taking home the gold award for its VL53 L1X sensor. Caltech scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have developed a novel RF sensor technology that shows great promise for future medical applications. 
The result of this technology is a touchless cardiac sensor that measures basic vital signs without the use of a wearable or a camera. The Cardio I, the Cardi IO, that's Cardi slash O, captures heart rate, respiratory rate, heart rate variability, and gross motion through clothing in any light conditions while tolerating normal activities. A huge honorable mention goes to advanced telesensors for the Cardi O touchless cardiac sensor. As I mentioned earlier, there's a special young man I would like to introduce you to. Back in March, I got an email from a young man that said, I want a science fair project and I'd like to write an article for your magazine. And I said, well, you know, I get a lot of these from a lot of people and I said, this guy sounds like he's pretty much on the bean. And then I found out that he's a high school student. So to encourage him, I said, send me an abstract. And I took a look at his article. I said, son of a gun, look at this. I've been looking at articles written by guys in the business for 30 years that aren't quite as articulate, quite as informative, and quite intelligently put together using graphs, formulas, bow diagrams. And I said, OK, let's run the article. And then I found out that his article was getting numerous hits. I'd like to introduce you to Rohan Kar Karuna Ratne. He attends the Stafford School in Fremont, California, and his article summarizes the science project Improving Car Autopilots, which won first place in the category of Robotics and Intelligent Machines at the Alamone, uh, Alameda County Science Fair. I'd like to have him come up, and he's going to tell you a little bit about his technology. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Rohan and my Sizer project was basically a, a novel method of how to improve a car autopilot. Um, it is a very simple concept uh, which involves hiding a machine readable image behind infrared transmissive paint. Um, so here we have a blue car on a blue background um, and as seen in the visible spectrum the car is barely visible against a blue background. Um, however, when viewed in the infrared spectrum, an infrared camera would be able to see through this infrared, infrared transmissive paint to view a checkerboard pattern. Uh, this doesn't only have to be a checkerboard pattern. It can be a barcode unique to the side and the type of the car, which would make it, make it easier to discriminate for a car autopilot. Uh, if, you guys have, uh, if you guys want to find out more about my project and get a little bit more information, you guys can go to uh, search Improving Car uh, Autopilots on Sensors Magazine. Any questions? you been working on this? Uh, around a year. Yeah. What got you interested? Um, uh, so I really, uh, I learned about the recent crash of a Tesla car because uh, the autopilot was unable to distinguish a white truck from a white sky. Uh, so that's where I kind of got inspired to uh, learn more about how to improve that technology. Has Tesla offered you a job yet? No, not yet. <laughs> All right, thank you for your time.